Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is a continuation, part five of the armor of God. We're, it's not five pieces of armor. We spent three days focused on the belt of truth for it holds everything together. Yeshua, Jesus holds everything together. So, Ephesians 6, 15. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Your feet shod with the preparation of of the gospel of peace. The Lord tells us to be prepared to give an answer to all those for why we believe. And this means we need to be nimble. You need to be ready. Like a, a person who's getting in a fight is nimble on the feet to move, to dodge, to weave, to weave. And we should be nimble. And we should not only be nimble, but we should be seeking to give and deliver the gospel. That is our mission. That is our true mission in this life. There is nothing else. There is nothing else. The Lord teaches us how to be fishers of men. But we need to go where the fish are. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing trying to fish for men in the middle of a mountain? Okay, but the good news is there's there's many people around us to fish. So as we put on this armor of God, we're not just sitting somewhere in the wilderness trying to avoid all humanity like some monks in some caves. I know you've probably seen heard about those monks that lived in those caves in, in Greece. No, we're out so that many may be saved. Yeah, yes. How beautiful, Hosea 52, 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace, who brings good news of happiness, who publishes salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. It's beautiful. People, it's, it's, it's beautiful in multiple ways. If you love God, you're going to love giving the good news. And the people that see you are going to love the fact that you cared enough about their soul to go out of your way. To take a, a few few hits <laughs> from them. Because they're not going to they're not going to just sit idly and and let you preach the word to them necessarily. You're going to analyze. You're going to talk about you sometimes right was it called a defamement of character that does happen but we are there to preach the good news that Jesus Christ died and resurrected for our sins so that we might be saved Romans ten fifteen. and how are they to preach unless they are sent as it is written how beautiful are those who preach the good news Right? Paul was referring to the previous verse. <laughs> Our day to preach unless they're sent. The Lord tells us where to go. He tells us where we need to be and where we need to go. So I always say our prayer in the morning. Our disciples' prayer. Because the Lord told it to the disciples to say it. Then if I hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us us trespasses. If you have forgiven those that trespassed against us, lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Every day we need to be asking for a mission for the Lord and he sends us where he needs to send us. In Matthew twenty four fourteen, in this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed Throughout the whole world is a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. We cannot have peace on earth. Peace in the universe. Until Jesus Christ comes back again. Not the Antichrist. Because there will be an Antichrist before Yeshua Jesus actually returns. But to do that. 
we need to keep preaching. Preach to the ends of the earth, every corner of the globe. He said it will be proclaimed. It's not we need to, it will be proclaimed. We don't we don't rush it. God already knows then. And like he said, if if you don't if you don't cry out in excitement for him, he'll make these very rocks cry out. The Lord will be proclaimed throughout the whole world. And then the end will come. So again, let's not hide ourselves. Because we now got the gospel. Our feet will move towards where the Lord wants us to go. As 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind and of discipline. Power, love, and discipline. Okay? Dear Heavenly Father, He didn't guide us today. And may we be led and guide every day through you, in you, to be fishers of men, to go where you need us to go and deliver the good news about what you have done for us, Father. Thank you, Lord. May many be saved. And we pray for the atrocities that happen all around the world. In Yeshua's name, we pray. Amen. Goodbye.